If you're looking to buy shares of Apple stock, we'll be walking you through the exact step-by-step -step process in this video. I'll also be showing you how to get a free stock worth up to $200, so be sure to stick around for the whole video. And feel free to skip ahead at any point in time using the table of contents down in the description below. Let's dive in. Before you go out and buy a stock, it's important to understand what a stock actually is. Stocks, also referred to as equities, are financial instruments that represent a fractional piece of ownership in a a real company. When you buy a stock, you purchase shares, and each company out there has a set number of shares that exist, and this is referred to as the shares outstanding. For example, if you wanted to invest in Microsoft stock, there are currently a total of 7,433,000,000 shares outstanding. The value of each one of these shares changes all day long during market hours, and this is based on people buying and selling the shares. If Microsoft is doing well and reporting high revenues and growing profits, for example, more people are going to be buying shares of the stock, thus increasing the demand for those shares. But on the other hand, if Microsoft slips up and reports bad numbers, there's going to be a large supply of shares coming to the market as people are selling them. The supply and demand for these shares is what controls the share price, and it's the company performance that dictates the supply and demand. As an individual stock investor, you want to purchase shares of companies that are expected to do well over time thus increasing the demand for those shares, which would ultimately push the price higher. So that's what a stock is, but how do you actually buy a stock? The first crucial detail here is that you need to buy stocks through something called a stock broker. And this is similar to buying a vehicle. If you wanted to buy a Ford F-150, for example, you would contact a Ford dealership instead of going directly to a Ford vehicle factory. Stock brokers are essentially stock dealers that connect you with the main stock exchanges, which is where these individual shares change hands. Now for this example, I'm going to be showing you how to buy stocks using Robinhood, which is one of the most popular and beginner-friendly stock brokers out there. Robinhood offers commission-free stock trading in addition to fractional shares, and that means you can invest as little as $1 into stocks and ETFs that are available on their trading platform. And here's the best part. If you sign up for a Robinhood account using my link, you're going to get a free fractional share in the process worth up to $200. All you have to do to get the free stock is click the affiliate link down below or visit investingsimple.com slash Robinhood and you actually get to choose this free fractional share from a list of 20 leading American companies. So here we are inside of my demo Robinhood account. The very first thing we're going to do here is deposit some funds to invest with. And if you want some help with getting started with Robinhood, be sure to check out my full 45 minute Robinhood investing for beginner's guide, which is going to be in the corner as well as down in the description below. What we're going to do now is go through the process of depositing $20. The first step is going to be clicking on buying power, which is currently $0. And now we're going to click on the black deposit funds button. At this point, you can choose from your various bank accounts that you have linked. And if you don't know how to set this up, you can watch that full tutorial video that I mentioned earlier, and it walks you through all of those steps. But what we're going to do for now is deposit deposit $20 from my bank account. And then this screen confirms that we are just doing a one-time transfer. You can do recurring transfers if you want to, but this is just going to be a one-time transfer. And if everything looks good, you can click on the black transfer $20 button, and this will initiate the transfer. Now this screen here gives us a timeline for when that deposit is going to settle from our bank account. And it usually takes about one to two business days. But the cool thing about Robinhood is they actually give you access to instant deposits of up to $1,000 completely free, which means you can invest your money immediately before the money actually hits your Robinhood account. So if we click on the continue button, we can see that we have an instant deposit available of $20. Now that we have some money available for trading, we can now invest in shares of the stock. If you want to follow along with the written instructions, click the second link down below to read our full article on investingsimple.com. The first thing we're going to need to do here is locate the Apple stock page. So what we're going to have to do is click on the search icon in the top right. And then if you know the symbol for the stock, you can type that in or you can just type in the name of the company. So we're going to type in Apple and we can see here that the symbol is AAPL. So we're going to go ahead and click on that now. And at this point, you can click on the different time frames here to see what the performance of Apple stock has been over different time periods. You can also scroll down to learn more about the company. 
view key statistics, get news about them, and also get analyst ratings as well as trading trends and also information about their previous earnings reports and whether or not they have been beating or meeting those expectations or possibly falling short. But what we're going to do now is click on the green trade button at the bottom right and then we're going to click on the buy button and at this point we can invest in fractional shares of Apple stock. So we're just going to put one dollar into Apple which is going to buy us 0.00438 shares and whenever you're all set you just go ahead and swipe up and just like that we invested in fractional shares of apple stock at an average price of 228.26 if i click on the done button here and return to my home screen and then we scroll down we can see apple stock is now listed here under investments that i currently own shares of just like that, you've invested in fractional shares using Robinhood. While the app is extremely beginner friendly, don't forget to check out my full 45 minute Robinhood for Beginners tutorial if you want me to walk you through everything step by step. In addition, be sure to use my link in the description below or visit investingsimple.com slash Robinhood when you sign up to get a free fractional share worth up to $200. You can click below to watch my full Robinhood investing tutorial and I'll see you there.